Hi, I'm Mitchell Hora. This year I had the honor of doing a project with Cool Planet. We were evaluating Cool Terra down in Southeast Iowa. This project was very different because we actually mixed the product, the Cool Terra, in with liquid hog manure in the tanker and applied it in with the manure into the field. The manure was applied in the fall of 2016 and then I was taking some soil samples throughout the spring of 2017 to evaluate what ended up happening as far as stabilizing those nutrients from the manure and helping them to become more available um, and be more efficient with those nutrients that we're applying. There's a ton of manure used in this area, so any products that can help to keep those nutrients more available, um, get them to be more efficient and help farmers save money, there's a lot of opportunity there. So what we were evaluating this year, we, we did a, one of the strips, um, we were all, it was a full replicated trial. We were evaluating 350 pounds of product mixed in to 3,500 gallons of manure. We also looked at 70 pounds of product mixed in. And then we looked at just untreated manure and we looked at anhydrous, which would be the number one alternative to using manure for uh, corn and soybeans in Southeast Iowa. Um, a little bit of takeaways on that. Overall yield at the end of the year, the farmer had its best yield ever. Uh, the plot was, <laughs> plot ran right around 300 bushel the acre for the most part, which is amazing yields. Uh, the farmer was really blown away, um, but it was just excellent conditions this year. Um, there was a little bit of takeaways on some of the uh, nutrient availability, but a lot of it was looking at anhydrous versus with manure. Big differences in inorganic nitrogen and hydrous. There's a lot of inorganic nitrogen and that's a problem that we can lose a lot of it. And uh, and then with the manure, there's a lot of organic nitrogen, which is good. That's a little bit more stable and that's what we're going for. Um, with the manure, of course, we're getting a, a lot better biological activity as well. And uh, manure actually was up 12% in biological activity over anhydrous. So just things that we're looking at on a soil health standpoint to try to get the microbes going and uh, get better utilization of nutrients. Um, what we're seeing now based on the yield, and, um, there's some opportunity I think to keep evaluating Colterra in Iowa, um, but I'm more interested in looking at it with as a water uh, tool. So mixing it in with bioreactors or other uh, water cleaning systems. Um, I know you guys have done some of that already that uh, the Cool Planet folks have. And there's some opportunity to keep doing that here in Iowa as well. So we'll keep in touch and we'll figure out what some of the opportunities are going forward. But it was a good project and interesting to evaluate. There's a lot of talk about um, biochar and similar products. So interesting to be on the cutting edge and trying stuff out. So let me know if you guys have any more questions. Thanks.